All right, guys, in this video, we are going to learn how to animate an element to enter and leave. And for that, we first need to learn about two special states in Angular animations. The first one is the wildcard state. Now, the wildcard state is going to match any animation state. So when you want to apply styles, regardless of which state that particular element is in, then you can make use of the wildcard state. Now this state is not a necessity for enter and leave animations, but it is much easier to understand, understand them with the help of wildcard state. So we'll be using that in our example. Now the second one is the void state. Now this state applies to any element that is not present in the view. So this state is going to be necessary to define enter and leave animations. And here's how you can make use of these two states. Now to define an enter animation, we need to specify a transition from a void state to a wildcard state. So from a state when the element is not in, 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 not in the view to any state when the element is in the view. Similarly, to define a leave animation, we specify a transition from a state in the view, so a wildcard state, to a state that is not in the view, so void state. All right, let's look at an example and that should make things more concrete for you. So right now we just have Angular animations displayed from our application. And if we head over to Visual Studio Code, we just have interpolation from this title property. So that is all we have in our app component. So first thing we have to do is create a div element that we are going to animate. So div and then close the div tag. And over here, I'm going to use a structural directive, star ng if, and this I'm going to assign it to show div. All right, and then we are going to animate this element. So let's also add a trigger. So let's call this animation fly in out. All right, and then we'll just have a simple text as the content for this div tag. So fly in out. All right, so now we have the element that we want to animate. Now we will be using the ng if directive to show or hide this div element. But rather than that happening instantaneously, we are going to animate it so that it appears to be entering or leaving the view. So now let's go ahead and define this animation. So we're here in the animations metadata. I'm going to add a trigger. And what is the trigger? fly in out and then we are going to define the transitions. Now the first transition is going to be the enter transition. So from a state that is outside the view, so void state, to any state within the view, so wildcard state. So this is the enter animation. So now over here I'm going to specify first a style. So initially we want the element to appear from the left. So we are going to have transform and then translate x by minus 100%. So basically if let's say, okay, let me just complete the code and then I can explain to you how this animation works. And I'm going to animate this for one second. All right, similarly, we are going to have a second transition so transition, and this time, this is going to be the leave animation. So from any state in the view, so wildcard state, to a state outside the view, so void state. So we want to leave from the view. So over here, again, we're going to specify an animate function. This time it's going to be one second, and it is going to be style, and then we want it to move away from the screen to the right. So transform, translate x, 100%. All right, now we can add a button that is going to toggle the value of show div between true and false. So we're here. Let's add that button. So button, button. And then over here, this is going to say toggle div 
And then over here, we are going to listen to the click event on this button. So event binding, and we are going to assign toggle div as the handler. So now let's come back to our app component class and declare that show div property. So show div is of type boolean and it is going to be initially true so that the element is going to be on the screen. Next, we are going to define the toggle div function. So toggle div, this dot show div is equal to this dot show div. Is it true? If it is true, then make it false. If not, make it true. All right, so that should toggle and we should have everything in place. And let me explain the animation now. So initially, suppose all right, so we have this fly in out, all right? So initially, for this to enter the screen, it should be at a position outside the screen to the left. And hence, initially we're assigning a style, translate x, a negative percentage. So basically, it is going to be displaced towards the left of its original position. So from somewhere from the left, it is going to enter, and then it is going to stay right here. And then, when we want it to leave the screen, we are going to animate it for one second, and then we are going to say, while this animation or this transition is happening, translate to the right by 100%. So if this div tag is taking up the entire screen, it is going to move to the right by 100%, and that is going to create the effect of the element moving out of the screen. So now let me just save this. All right, so now when I click on toggle div, you can see that it is exiting from the screen. And if I click on toggle div again, watch closely from the left. There you go, it entered the screen. So exit and enter. And these two transitions are pretty common according to Angular. So this, uh, they decided to give it an alias. So you can just name it as enter and leave instead of specifying the different states and this is still going to work as expected. So let's wait for it to reload. So there you go, it entered, I'm gonna click, it's going to exit, I'm gonna click again, it's going to enter from the left, and then exit to the right. So that is how you animate exit or enter and exit animations, and this might come in handy, especially when you are going to use routing. For example, when you navigate from one component to the other, you want the current component to maybe fly away from the screen and the new component to fly into the screen. So this is pretty useful. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.